a coronet for his mistress philosophy by george chapman read for librivox dot org by cynthia moyer muses that sing love's sensual empery and lovers kindling your enraged fires at cupid's bonfires burning in the eye blown with the empty breath of vain desires you that prefer the painted cabinet before the wealthy jewels it doth store ye that all your joys in dying figures set and stain the living substance of your glory abjure those joys abhor their memory and let my love the honoured subject be of love and honour's complete history your eyes were never yet let in to see the majesty and riches of the mind but dwell in darkness for your god is blind but dwell in darkness for your god is blind humour pours down such torrents on his eyes which as from mountains fall on his base kind and eat your entrails out with ecstasies color whose hands for faintness are not felt can bind your waxen thoughts in adamant and with her painted fires your heart doth melt which beat your souls in pieces with a pant but my love is the cordial of souls teaching by passion what perfection is in whose fixed beauties shine the sacred scroll and long lost records of your human bliss spirit to flesh and soul to spirit giving love flows not from my liver but her living love flows not from my liver but her living from whence all stings to perfect love are darted all power and thought of prideful lust depriving her life so pure and she so spotless-hearted in whom sits beauty with so firm a brow that age nor care nor torment can contract it heaven's glories shining there do stuff allow and virtue's constant graces do compact it her mind the beam of god draws in the fires of her chaste eyes from all earth's tempting fuel which upward lifts the looks of her desires and makes each precious thought in her a jewel and as huge fires compressed more proudly flame so her close beauties further blaze her fame so her close beauties further blaze her fame when from the world into herself reflected she lets her shameless glory in her shame content for heaven to be of earth rejected she thus depressed knocks at olympus gate and in the untainted temple of her heart doth the divorceless nuptials celebrate twixt god and her where love's profaned dart feeds the chaste flames of hymen's firmament wherein she sacrificeth for her part the robes looks deeds desires and whole descent of female natures built in shops of art virtue is both the merit and reward of her removed and soul infused regard of her removed and soul infused regard with whose firm species as with golden lances she points her life's field for all wars prepared and bears one chanceless mind in all mischances the inverted world that goes upon her head and with her wanton heels doth kick the sky my love disdains though she be honoured and without envy sees her empery loathes all her toys and thoughts cupidinine 
arranging in the army of her face all virtue's forces to dismay loose ein that hold no quarter with renown or grace war to all frailty peace of all things pure her look doth promise and her life assure her look doth promise and her life assure a right line forcing a rebateless point in her high deeds through everything obscure to full perfection not the weak disjoint of female humours nor the protean rages of pied-faced fashion that doth shrink and swell working poor men like waxen images and makes them apish strangers where they dwell can alter her titles of primacy courtship of antic gestures brainless jests blood without soul of false nobility nor any folly that the world infests can alter her who with her constant guises to living virtues turns the deadly vices to living virtues turns the deadly vices for covetous she is of all good parts incontinent for still she shows entices to consort with them sucking out their hearts proud for she scorns prostrate humility and gluttonous in store of abstinence drunk with extractions stilled in fervency from contemplation and true continence burning in wrath against impatience and sloth itself for she will never rise from that all-seeing trance the band of sense wherein in view of all soul's skill she lies no constancy to that her mind doth move nor riches to the virtues of my love nor riches to the virtues of my love nor empire to her mighty government which fair analyzed in her beauty's grove shows laws for care and canons for content and as a purple tincture given to glass by clear transmission of the sun doth taint opposed subjects so my mistress's face doth reverence in her viewers brows depaint and like the pansy with a little veil she gives her inward work the greater grace which my lines imitate though much they fail her gifts so high and time's conceit so base her virtues then above my verse must raise her for words want art and art wants words to praise her for words want art and art wants words to praise her yet shall my active and industrious pen wind his sharp forehead through those parts that raise her and register her worth past rarest women herself shall be my muse that well will know her proper inspirations and assuage with her dear love the wrongs my fortunes show which to my youth bind heartless grief in age herself shall be my comfort and my riches and all my thoughts i will on her convert honour and error which the world bewitches shall still crown fools and tread upon desert and never shall my friendless verse envy muses that fame's loose feathers beautify muses that fame's loose feathers beautify and such as scorn to tread the theatre as ignorant the seed of memory have most inspired and shown their glories there to noblest wits and men of highest doom that for the kingly laurel bent affair the theatres of athens and of rome have been the crowns and not the base impair 
far then be this foul cloudy-browed contempt from like-plumed birds and let your sacred rhymes from honour's court their servile feet exempt that live by soothing moods and serving times and let my love adorn with modest eyes muses that sing love's sensual emperies lucidius olim end of poem this recording is in the public domain